Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stephanie Stevens Show. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on my channel. Tonight, um, you guys have been asking me to blog live uh, or pre-record me um, do doing my blogs. So I'm going to do a couple for you tonight. Um, it's late. I just finished the show, so I'm kind of tired, but I'm going to do it just for you guys. And also, just to show you that I can spit a little bit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, tonight I am going to talk about a few celebrities that um, I adore and some that I find concerning. And I want to just talk about a couple of those things. I did a few blogs for you already, so I'm going to put those up too. But I'm going to do three new ones tonight. I want to talk about Miss Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. And Miss Wendy Williams was admitted into the hospital a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Apparently, her husband is leaving her, so she is checking into the hospital for what reason? Mm -hmm. Wendy Williams is something else. I love Miss Hyderin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, listen with me. Listen up. <laughs> Oh, well, she's got. She had the same problem as um, Wendy Williams. They both like that substance stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, what is it with you? Get all the fame, you get the fortune, you get everything in life that you want, and yet you're still not satisfied. You got. You had a loving husband, but yet you became concerning, Wendy Williams, Miss. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Mm -hmm. I just do not understand it. I love you, girl. Get it together, okay, Miss Williams? Because mm -hmm. you is concerning. And then not only that, your talk show is like mainly when you're laying everybody out. You're letting everybody else have it. Now they're letting you have it. Trust me, girl. They got you all on TV. Your face all twisted up this way. They're really taking some bad pictures of you. Girl, I feel so bad. A girl that got you in New York City, you, you in one picture, girl, they got you, you, you taller than the billboards. A seven foot tall black Amazon Wendy, Wendy Williams walking through Times Square. <laughs> girl, they let you have it, girl. You better be careful, Miss um, Wendy Williams. I don't know. I, I, I just feel bad for you, but if you got a problem, girl, take care of it, okay? Mm -hmm. And don't be blaming nobody else. It's, it's all your fault, okay? It's all your fault. The, the the drug problem is all your fault. The other stuff you probably could have worked out if you weren't tweaking. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean, Miss Wendy Williams. <laughs> girl, we know about them after hours, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Get well soon, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep calling you Whitney. <laughs> oh, because she was very concerning when she was alive, too. Mm -hmm. She told Barbara Walters crack wasn't whack, honey. Mm -mm. And she had, she was so high, she told Barbara Walters that Bobby Brown was the king of R&B. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Mm. But anyway, God rest your soul, Whitney. Um, but anyway... Wendy Williams, take care of yourself, girl. We love you, Miss. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, take care of yourself. Um, anyway, our next concerning person is the most powerful man in the world, Donald Trump. He tweeted me this morning and told me that he's going to punch me out if I don't start helping to build that wall. <laughs> I don't understand it. He's um he's been vetoing everything because he wants all this money for the wall, and um he wants the Mexicans to pay for the wall. Hmm. And he wants to keep them out of the country. I'm sure they're gonna do that, Donald. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. And you guys won't believe this. Guess who's out? I'm going to stop reading from the paper. I, when I'm reading from the paper, I can't talk. Now, as you know, Donald has not talked about Stormy. Where the hell is Stormy? Whatever happened to Rosie O'Donnell? I heard Rosie O'Donnell is in Miami harassing lesbians. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Yes, I did. Whoopi Goldberg told me that, you know, mm -hmm. I think she came from the, um, 
the, the Jim Hearn, that Kelly Clarkson, you know, they, they belong to the Fat Lady Society. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that Kelly Clarkson is something else. She's been down there in Tennessee eating um, cornbread and catfish and alligators. That girl is something else. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much about Kelly because she's trying to get her weight under control. She's taking, she's enjoying that um, um, Oprah Winfrey's Weight Watchers program. Apparently, she can lost like 79 pounds and she's, she's down to like 280 now. Mm -hmm. She doing good. She she decided she wasn't going to go see Dr. Navago. You know, the man that um, takes care of the 600-pound people. Mm -hmm. That Kelly is something else. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, um, let me finish talking to y'all about Donald. Mm -hmm. Donald is something else. Have you noticed that wife has been very quiet lately? She's been very quiet because she's real jealous because Michelle Obama's um, memoirs, that book that she did, is is outselling everybody. And I think she's shaking because she know her memoirs ain't going to never sell like that. She will have to make a memoirs full of her clothes and it might do okay. Because, you know, she know how to dress. I must give it to Malala. She knows how to dress. She don't know how to do nothing else. She can't even have a good argument with Donald. Mm -mm, please. Anyway, Donald wins every argument. Donald don't care about nobody. He letting them white, old white men that drinks iced tea in Massachusetts have it, honey, about that wall. He said, I want that money for that wall. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Donald, something else. I love Donald. He just lets him have it. He's like the um, the big kid in the sandbox. And if you don't do what he says, do, honey, he fills your mouth up with sand. <laughs> Donald is something else. That man is something else. And he don't know. He punched out Rosie O'Donnell a few years ago. I don't know why he punched her out so bad. Apparently, he punched her out in the Rose Garden. Mm, they was like, they're rolling all across the green grass and everything. Mm. Apparently, Rosie got up with a black eye. I don't know. You know, she was an upset lesbian. All the lesbians I know, they're always upset. Mm. We're going to put some tuna fish in their window. Mm, you know, lesbians love tuna fish. That's what they use for potpourri. Mm, that, 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 um, that Rosie O'Donnell should be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, she can go hang out with Ellen and that other concerning citizen, that other concerning lesbian, that Melissa Gilbert. Now, you know, I was watching Roseanne Barr the other day on TV, and she was just letting Miss M Melissa Gilbert have it. Now, you know, there's nobody can handle lesbians like gay men. Gay men know how to deal with lesbians. Um, um, Roseanne, you should have asked some gay men how to deal with lesbians, and we would have showed you. We would have shut Miss Melissa Gilbert down. Yes, we would have. We would have let it happen. Now, another thing. Now, you know, there's been so much controversy about that boy, um, Jesse um, Smollett. Smollett is his name. Mm -hmm. The gay guy from Empire. Oh, he was kind of cute for a while, and now he's concerning. Who goes through all that drama? You're making $100,000 an episode. Let them give me $10,000 an episode. And my mouth is sealed, honey. He's staging some kind of um, some kind of beat-up thing where he got his two boyfriends that he done met on Grinder beating him up so he can get a raise. What was what, what, she trying to pull? Honey, that was a real drama in itself. They should put, us, put some of that on Empire. They got to put that in the scene on Empire, recreate it, because um, he, may, he and he can live the he can live the story if they let him come back to Empire. I don't think they will let him come back. I think they fired him. I'm not sure, but I don't know what the real story is. But all I know is a gay man that are making a hundred thousand dollars a year, honey. Mm -mm. You should have waited until the show had been there at least five six years. The show just started. Don't be trying to get greedy right away. A hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. And then in an episode, you know how much lube and poppers you can buy with that there, Je Jesse? Mm -hmm. And that other stuff that I know you doing. Mm -hmm. Lord Hamburg said, let me tell you something. I was in Las Vegas last week, and I got to tell you guys this here. I got to meet Chaz Bono. Mm -hmm. 
we sat down and we were talking and everything, <clears throat> and I was asking him about his transitioning because I really want to maybe do one of those segments on the Stephanie Stevens show. Now, you know, I would, when I first, before I met him, I, I, I was thinking these kind of crazy things. I thought to myself, um, I would love to go with him and his girlfriend to the doctor's office so they can look at the dick catalog. <laughs> I heard they had a dick catalog down there. I don't know. I heard they had a dick catalog. And I wanted to just watch them flip through the pages looking for the kind of dick uh, uh, Chaz, Chaz wanted to get for her. So he would be asking her, like, uh, do you want to scream or do you want to haul? Now, let's keep going through these. But uh, you know me with, with my crazy ass. First thing I thought is that she should probably get um, a black dick. Mm. <laughs> Not for the size, but for the surprise. Mm. Lord have mercy, because you know, I, I ain't never seen a, a, a big white dick on a white man. Mm. And you know, that's rare. Honey, a, a big white dick on a white man is like a Mercedes coming out of the ghetto. Mm. <laughs> That's why I don't date Chinese men because their dicks hide behind the balls. Oh Lord, have mercy! Nothing grows in the shade. Oh Lord, you eat one, you're hungry. A half hour later, mm -hmm. I can see I just keep coming with these one liners. But anyway, um, but me and Chancellor, we had a nice lunch and we talked about we we, we talked a lot about his penis. So um, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> I'm going to go down there next year so I can look at it in person because I want to see how they going to attach it. I want to see how they attached it. Um, <laughs> I'll let y'all know how it go, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's Chaz Bono and his girlfriend. They're concerning. Well, speaking of concerning, coming up now, as you guys know, in the last few months, they've had a lot of controversy between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Well, guess what? People were on Cardi B's side for a long time and, you know, giving Miss Thing her G's because, you know, she's working hard and trying to do her thing. Now, apparently, Nick, um, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj said Cardi B used to be an escort and she used to drug and rob her tricks. So this keeps coming up. So Cardi B finally feels like that she has to answer um, to the public about her um, drugging her tricks and taking them and robbing them and taking their money and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you a little scenario of what I think happened. Well, you know, when you first come to the U.S., you probably need some visa money and you need some startup money. You need uh, uh, to help out the family back in Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, um, Ecuador, you know, one of those places where um, the people seem to be heading in the other direction trying to get away from um, So I don't blame her for trying to get a little extra money. But Cardi B, you can't be robbing your tricks, girl. You make it bad for the other girls and make it very dangerous for the other girls to work. Now, be clear and be honest. Come on and tell us. Say, yeah, I was having a hard time. And yeah, I was drugging them in because I didn't want them getting up all in my stuff and wrecking it because I wanted to someday be a, a, a movie star or, or a rapper or actress or something like that. Just tell us the truth. Mm -hmm. And but and then just tell us exactly how much money you took from people because you know some of these men are still looking for you, Cardi. You just you you got a little couple of dollars now. You didn't change a little look, but you can't go back to the block no more. <laughs> but no, I don't understand it. It's like finally you're addressing this, Cardi B, Miss. <laughs> I understand, girl. I understand. Yes, Lord. Let me see what else they talking they, they, um, about you. Oh, well, anyway, Nicki Minaj is mad because, you know, she was the queen. Now, you know, she's got this small waist and this really large ass. 
I ain't never seen an ass that big in all my life. Nicki Minaj has got an ass like a hippo and a waist or lower. I don't know. Did she take out a few ribs? She must have coughed up something. And Nicki Minaj is something else. But I want to know why the two of you fighting all the time. Sometimes when two people are fighting all the time, that means that they like each other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I know um, women escorts have known to be lesbian, being a few lesbian scenes. So you have to tell us the truth, Cardi. Were you upside down on that couch? Mm-hmm. With um, one of them escort women, mm-hmm. we're over and out. Anyway, Cardi, I gotta go. Get your together. Give us the four one one. Or did you date um, these concerning men? And did you drug them? And did you rob them? We need to know that, Cardi. Okay. Yes, we need to know it. Or the L.A. Police Department needs to know that. Because mm-hmm. there could be some men that you did other things to that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway. And for you, Donald. Now, listen. I want you to go and um, sit down and have a nice cup of tea. Put some kind of, put some riddling in it. So you can be calm for a few days. And, 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 and invite Rosie over and apologize to her. And then punch her in the face and tell her to get out. Mm-hmm. You suck me off, Donald. You suck me off. Well, anyway. Over and out, everybody. Good night. Have a great night. I hope I blogged enough for y'all. Because y'all know I tried to do it for you. Until next time, everybody.